Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Stephanie. And today we're going to continue talking about vegan milk. We talked about this in our program last time. Remember, some people are lactose intolerant, and they can't drink animal milk. Uh, from cows, or maybe they're a little conscious about the environment, and they realize that cows are not treated very well when they produce milk, and they damage the environment. So maybe you don't want to drink milk because of that. So we're going to talk about some alternatives, but of course, always the alternatives have their own problems, which we'll talk about today. I know that、uh, soy milk, too much soy, has been linked to breast cancer.、Uh-oh. So there's that. I mean, there's usually something good and bad about everything. So you just have to pick which one、um, you know best matches what you think is important in life, and go with that. It's tough to find a perfect food anywhere, really.、Um, well, I can't help but make this conclusion. Yeah. But it seems like the ultimate answer is for people to drink human milk. Milk, but of course, you need women to produce that, and、uh, that's just、uh, not really easily done. No, that would require people,、uh, women, being、uh, willing to breastfeed forever,、like、and it's very.、Long. It hurts a lot of women too, so it's、sure. not comfortable, according to my mom. Okay, guys, let's get started. We're going to read through today's lesson, and then we'll be back. With so many easily accessible plant-based milks, it might seem easy to simply ditch dairy milk from your diet permanently. However, as with any food product, it's still important to maintain a critical perspective. Not all vegan milks are created equal, and some have their own downsides. One such disadvantage is a lack of calcium. Almost no vegan milk. Matches dairy milk for the amount of calcium the latter contains. Rice milk, coconut milk, and cashew milk don't include much protein either. While coconut milk even contains high quantities of unsaturated fat. It's also crucial to be aware that many dairy alternatives have added sugar or artificial ingredients. To ensure you're choosing the right kind of milk for your needs. The best practice is to always read nutritional labels at the store. Look for the nutrients you need more of in your diet. For example, if you want something higher in protein but lower in sugar and calories, unsweetened soy milk is a great option. Meanwhile, hemp milk has less protein but makes up for it by providing 50% of your daily recommended calcium. Per serving, if you'd rather avoid store-bought milk altogether or experiment with novel flavors, plant-based milk is easy to make yourself. You merely need a good blender, cheesecloth, and whatever nuts or flavorings you want to add. Blend the ingredients finely with ample amounts of water, then squeeze the resulting mixture through the cheesecloth to extract the liquid. You can even save the pulp to make some vegan cheese. It's a great way to experiment and find a tasty but healthy dairy alternative to love. Okay, so again, we're taking a closer look at vegan milk. And so we talked about some alternative forms of milk. If you don't want to drink cow milk or goat milk or whatever, so with so many easily accessible plant-based milks, it might seem easy to simply ditch dairy milk from your diet permanently. So it does sound like there are lots of choices out there: almond milk, coconut milk, soy、yeah. milk, etc. Yeah.、Uh, so you got lots of different choices there. So hmm, what the heck? I'll just、uh, stop drinking cow milk altogether. I will just. Chuck it from my diet. I will get rid of it permanently, which means forever. So, indeed,、uh, like me, maybe twenty years ago when I decided to quit smoking cigarettes,、mm-hmm. I quit、yeah. them. I quit smoking permanently. I'm never going to smoke again. So, yes, indeed, you may、uh, not miss milk at all. You could、uh, get rid of it from your diet. You could ditch it from your diet permanently and never drink milk again. Right.、Um, I wanted to、uh, take a look at this word "ditch." It's kind of fun, guys. We use it in an informal way. Here, it just means get rid of.
、uh, but sometimes we use it to、uh, talk about leaving someone behind.、Uh, maybe you are、uh, with three friends and you see some other. A、uh, schoolmate, classmate coming up behind you, and you guys don't really like him or her, and you say, "Let's ditch her, let's、mm. ditch him." Or if you're ditching school, we use that a lot.、Uh, you're cutting classes, you're ditching class, which just means you don't go. Better be careful; you might get in trouble. Your parents might get mad at that. But in any case, here, yes, you might ditch dairy milk from your diet forever, permanently.、Mm-hmm. However, as with any food product, it's still important to maintain a critical perspective. Not all vegan milks are created equal, and some have their own downsides. So, indeed, if you decide to give up a certain kind of food, like if you give up meat, for example, and you become a vegetarian, right? Well, that's nice. It sounds cool if you're Buddhist or something, or you're sympathetic to animals' welfare, or you're doing it for. Uh, health reasons or whatever, you still need to realize that well, meat is an important source of protein, and humans have been carnivores for many years, so our bodies are used to a certain amount of protein. Where are you going to get the protein if you quit eating meat? And the same is true with milk. If you give up any kind of milk product. Uh, any kind of、uh, food product, you need to have some kind of critical perspective. Critical just means、uh, it involves different kinds of facts and information, and、uh, of course, you need to do your research. And perspective just means your point of view. So you need to be objective. Basically,、mm-hmm. you need to realize that、yeah, it's not so easy giving up milk because the alternatives have their own problems. Yeah, and you have to be careful. You definitely need enough calcium in your body and your diet. So, not all vegan milks are created equal, meaning there are some that are better than others, and some have their own downsides. A downside, of course, is sort of a negative、uh, point or negative.、Uh, Attribute or fact that something has a downside.、Uh, if you're looking at a plan, you'll talk about the pros and the cons. Well, a downside is a con,、uh, one of the bad things about your plan. So one such disadvantage or downside. That's another word for downside is disadvantage is a lack of calcium. So a disadvantage、um, is something that isn't beneficial to you. It puts you behind or makes something not as attractive. It's unfavorable. It's a condition that、um, reduces your chances of success or even of something being effective. So disadvantage or downside. Some of them don't have enough calcium. They lack calcium. Almost no vegan milk matches dairy milk for the amount of calcium the latter contains. That's because animals naturally have protein in them, and plants not necessarily. Some plants have some protein. Other plants have zero.、Um, so you need to be careful with that. You've got rice milk. Coconut milk and cashew milk—they don't include much protein, or not very much either. While coconut milk even contains high quantities of unsaturated fat. Now, the bad fat is saturated, so at least unsaturated fat is the good fat. But you can't eat too much of that unless you give up most of your carbs. If you are eating lots of carbs and unsaturated fat, you're gonna be fat. Right, so there are advantages and disadvantages to these other kinds of milk. Again,、uh, you're going to be lacking calcium, which、uh, normally comes from、uh, minerals. I think you could eat shells maybe as a substitute for calcium, because there's a lot of calcium in shells、mm-hmm. and bones and stuff like that. And again, you need to worry about that protein, which、uh, is not very present in coconut milk or cashew milk or rice milk. And of course, coconut milk has a lot of unsaturated fat, as we've said. It's also crucial or important to be aware that many dairy alternatives have added sugar or artificial ingredients. Yes, indeed, some forms of artificial milk. Uh, contain added sugar or other ingredients because、uh, these companies want you to buy more and they want it to taste good. And if they don't have these added ingredients or、uh, this added sugar, then you may think it tastes kind of bitter and you won't want to buy it anymore. So of course they'll just、ah, let's just put some sugar in there to get these people to buy more of it. So yeah, you need to look at the、uh, list of ingredients、mm-hmm. on the label to find out if they've added sugar to it or if they've added. 
artificial ingredients. And if something's artificial, it's man-made. It's made by people in a laboratory. Yeah, it's not、um, naturally occurring in nature. It's definitely man-made. So you have to be aware of those things. When they add sugar, it also makes you kind of get、uh, that addicted. A feeling to a food, sugar is addictive. So be careful with that. Yeah, a lot of times if something tastes bad or they take out the fat in a food, what they do is they put more sugar in.、Mm. So we know that sugar is worse for you than fat is. So be careful, guys. We know that now. In the past, they said, "Oh no, you should have a low-fat diet." I know. But,、uh, of course, I did some reading, and we all know now that fat is actually good for you. But again, too much of a good thing can be bad. So watch what you're doing. Do some research. And yes, indeed, be careful because some of these alternatives will have added artificial ingredients、mm -hmm. and added sugar, and they may have a weird expiration dates as well. You got to be aware of that as well. Okay, that brings us to the midway point in our lesson for today. It's time now to turn things over to our beloved Chinese teacher. 听众朋友，大家好，我是安娜。我们昨天带大家看这个 vegan milk 植物奶，有很多好处哎。首先 Environmentally friendly, 它非常的环保。那接着呢，它又不含乳糖，然后又有很多纤维，反正就是好像很多优点这样子。不过，虽然就算我们有，我们也不可能完全抛弃牛奶，因为它还是会有一些劣势，有一些缺点。好，我们来看一下今天这个第一段的最后一句，最后一个字 downside。Disadvantage. 当然，植物奶也有它的缺点啦。它有什么缺点呢？就是缺钙呀、啊。然后呢，可能这个在蛋白质上啊，不像牛奶那么多。好，那么不过我们在第一段当中呢，还是要注意一下下。像第一句啊，这里的 with， 我们刚刚说有这么多我们可以买得到的植物奶，其实。它还是会有一些缺点。第一句的这里第一个字的 with 啊，其实就是有的介系词。可是第二句在 however 之后，你看到的是 as with， 那它跟 with 之间有什么关系呢？第二句的，它是个介系词片语哦，它的语义是和什么什么东西一样，这时候跟有就没有关系了。好，所以你看一下第二句 ，as with any food product， 就像任何食品一样，它其实也有缺点。好，我们刚刚说其中一个缺点就是。比较缺乏钙质啦，因为真的几乎没有任何一种植物奶的钙含量能够跟牛奶来相比哦。我们来看第二段的第一句，这里比较特别一点。先看一下这边有一个关系词简化的关系子句，先行词是 the amount of calcium， 在比较接近句尾的地方。然后之后呢，有三个字可以左右挂号 ，the letter contains。好，我们先把关系词 which。或者是 that 填回去，那么冠带这里面后面的 the latter 指的是后者，什么后者呢？在英文当中啊，如果你在句子里面提到两件不同的人事物来做比较的时候，例如在这一段第一句里面提到的两个东西，先讲到的是 vegan milk 植物奶，这是前者，在英文通常会说 the former， 一样是定冠词 the 跟 former。F O R M E R 前者，那么后者呢？就是我们看到的 dairy milk， 就是所谓的牛奶，在英文当中会用 the latter， 就是我们现在左右挂号关系子句里面的所谓的后者。所以跟后者来相比的话，几乎没有 no vegan milk， 没有任何植物奶可以跟它比这个所谓钙质的含量。不过呢，像米浆啊，这个椰奶呀、啊、腰果奶，当然它们并没有很多的蛋白质，但是椰奶呢还有很多大量的不饱和的脂肪酸，所以其实我们如果要这个看买这个所谓的植物奶的话，也要看看它的一些糖的添加成分啦，或者是人工的成分啦，甚至香料，这个东西都是要特别注意的。同样，我们在第二段的地方，请注意一下第二句。逗点之后的 while 在这里指的是逗点前后子句文意上的一种比较。那么第三句的 it 是一个虚主词哦，真主词则是从 that 一直到句尾的地方。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.
Welcome back, guys. We're talking about vegan milk. We know that there are a lot of、uh, easily accessible plant-based milks these days. So it might seem like, oh, hey, I'll just ditch my cow milk or my dairy milk and choose one of those plant-based milks.、Uh, then I don't have to drink dairy milk ever again. Well, you need to be really critical in. Uh, what you choose to replace dairy milk with? Some of these plant-based milks aren't quite as healthy for you, or they have too much sugar in them, which is another bad thing.、Uh, so you need to really analyze your choices.、Uh, they all have different、um, advantages and disadvantages. So you need to actually take some time and analyze what your、um, Going to be replacing your cow milk or dairy milk with,、uh, because not all vegan milks are created equal, and some have their own downsides. So we talked about how a lot of them lack calcium; they don't have enough calcium. We know that dairy milk has lots and lots of calcium, and when Tom and I were kids, we'd always hear on TV that we should drink our milk. Kids should always drink lots of milk.、Uh, it'll make you grow up and be tall and strong. And you know, kids want to be tall and strong when they're growing up, so we would drink all that milk. But nowadays, we have different types of milk available.、Uh, some are made from plants. Some are made from some sort of grain, like oats. And some are made from nuts. We've got rice milk, coconut milk, and cashew milk, and they don't include much protein. So be careful if you choose one of those as a substitute. You're going to need to、uh, bump up your calcium by eating perhaps some more vegetables that have calcium, like、uh, spinach has tons of calcium. I know,、um, which I love spinach. But in the summer, it's hard to find spinach. It's more a winter vegetable. So here are some other milks. We've got coconut milk. That's an, a new choice these days. But beware, it has lots of unsaturated fat. To be honest, the unsaturated fat is much better than saturated fat, but it's still fat. So you don't want to eat too much because you'll get fat. <laughs> you don't want to get fat by eating a lot of fat, indeed. So again, you need to check out these alternatives and find out what their advantages、mm -hmm. and disadvantages are. And here in the third paragraph, it says to ensure to guarantee that you're choosing the right kind of milk for your needs. The best practice is to always read. Nutritional labels at the store. Yes, indeed, that does help quite a bit. Sometimes those labels can be deceptive, however.、Mm -hmm. But uh, indeed, uh, you can read the nutritional labels to get an idea of the contents of the products that you're buying. You could also do research online if you're concerned about that. So yeah, read those labels at the store to find out if they have added sugar or artificial ingredients. So look for the nutrients you need more of in your diet. So here's an example that our author gave us: If you want something higher in protein, but lower in sugar and calories, then you should probably go for the unsweetened soy milk.、Uh, that's a great option. I know that、uh, you can get the dojang with the sugar, with the、mm -hmm. sweetened、uh, version, but、uh, it's a little too sweet for me. And one morning, I heard someone、uh, order、um, dojang without sugar, and I thought, "Oh, is that a is that a possibility?、Mm -hmm. uh, because that's kind of a new thing for me."、Um, when I was a missionary, I think they only had the dojang with sugar, but not having the sugar in it actually tastes very good to me. I like that. Yeah, I always order the soy milk without sugar in it. I think it's just、uh, Qingjiang、uh, as the short form to call it in Chinese, but that、mm. would be sugarless soy milk or soy milk without sugar. And of course, as you know, Americans like to eat breakfast cereal. So of course, for many years, I've been eating muesli or whatever with milk on it, and I thought, well, I'll try to use soy milk as a substitute for milk, but it just didn't work. It just tasted really <laughs> strange. So I I never did that again. It's too bad though because、uh, soy milk, of course, is readily available here in Taiwan. Although I believe soybeans are imported from lots of different places. 
So be aware of that if there are food shortages out there somewhere. And again, soy milk might be a great option if it's unsweetened, if it doesn't have added sugar. Meanwhile, hemp milk has less protein, but makes up for it by providing 50% of your daily recommended calcium per serving. Now, hemp is a plant that I believe produces marijuana, so that would be kind of、uh, risque, risky to have. Risky, that. yeah. It would be、uh, probably illegal. Legal here in Taiwan to have hemp milk.、Uh, it's available in the United States, of course, because many states in the U.S. have legalized marijuana. And so I've never tried this myself before, but I guess it doesn't have so much protein in it. But still, it compensates for its lack of protein by providing 50% of your daily recommended calcium per serving. So yes, hemp milk doesn't have a lot of protein, but then it does have a lot of calcium. So that's something you can consider. And again, we've got this term to make up for something, which means to compensate. You might say this to somebody: "Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't、uh, do that project for you that you asked me to do at work. Let me make it up to you." Except we'd use the preposition "to" there. Let me make it up to you.、Mm-hmm. In other words, let me do something to sort of make up for my mistake, to compensate for the mistake I made. Yeah,、um, maybe you don't have enough、uh, of one ingredient at home, and so you make up for it by adding more of something else. One time, I didn't have enough sugar, so I made up for it by adding more chocolate.、Uh, I was making chocolate chip cookies. Did it work? I, yeah, it still tasted great. So,、Super. yeah, sometimes you can compensate or make up for something else by adding another ingredient. So here we're saying hemp milk does have less protein, but But you can、uh, compensate or make up for it by、uh, it makes up for it by giving you fifty percent or half of your daily recommended calcium per serving. A serving here is just the quantity of food that's suitable for one person to eat at one meal. So sometimes, if you go to the states and you go to a restaurant, you're going to think. Wow, their serving sizes here are crazy big. They are.、Uh, we actually get a lot of food when we go to a restaurant. The serving size is quite big, but most people take it home in a doggy bag. You know, so you can ask to、uh, have something wrapped up so you can take it home. Serving just the quantity of food that's suitable for one person at one meal. Uh, indeed, I kind of had this problem in China as well when I traveled there many years ago.、Uh, the restaurants have larger servings than they do here in Taiwan. At least they did at that time. Really? But again, that was about 20 years ago, so I don't know、uh, how they're serving now. But、uh, indeed, that's a point well taken. In the U.S., the servings are quite large. And、uh, of course, that will probably explain to you exactly why a lot of Mer- Americans <laughs> are overweight. They are obese. Yeah. They need to cut down on the serving sizes. Yeah. And here in the final paragraph, it says, "If you'd rather avoid store-bought milk altogether, or experiment with novel flavors or unique, different flavors, plant-based milk is easy to make yourself." I don't think I have that time for that, but here's a way you could do this. You merely need, you only need a good blender, cheesecloth, and whatever nuts or flavorings you want to add. A blender, of course, is a machine that is used here in Taiwan often to make fruit juice. You press the button, zzz, and it mixes all the fruit and the water together. Cheesecloth, I guess that's a kind of thin cloth that's used in making cheese. Yeah, it's um, it is cloth and it's cotton and it's got bigger holes. In the the fabric, and so things can be pushed through more easily. So that's cheesecloth.、Um, yeah, you can add,、um, you can use nuts too, or add flavorings if you want. Now you need to blend the ingredients finely with.、Uh, Ample amounts of water. So you're going to put these things into the blender, blend them up until they're really a small size. But you have to have enough water. Ample means plenty of, or enough of something. You've got ample water. Then you're going to squeeze the resulting mixture through the cheesecloth to extract the liquid. 
This sounds like the process of making cheese too. So I'm kind of smiling here.、Um, if you go online, look up how to make cheese or make your own fresh milk, and you can see what a cheese cloth actually looks like. To extract is a verb. It just means to remove something or take something out. We'll often use it when we're talking about a dentist who wants to extract one of your teeth. Maybe your your tooth is hurting, and he just says, "Oh, we should just." Take it out. Yeah, if they so, extract your tooth, it's going to sound like this, and the tooth will be extracted、ugh. from your mouth. And you can even save the pulp to make some vegan cheese.、Uh, pulp is kind of this soft, wet substance that、uh, comes from a result of making that milk there. So the pulp there, of course, we have wood pulp that is used to make paper. And yes, indeed, you can make some vegan cheese while you're at it. Yeah, so the pulp is the part that stays behind in the cheesecloth after you squeeze out the liquid. You can open that cloth, the cheesecloth, and that's your pulp right there. So maybe you'll, you're going to be able to make some cheese. Who knows? It's a great way to experiment and find a tasty but healthy dairy alternative or choice to love. So good luck with that. We're going to listen to our Chinese teacher, and then we'll be back. 所以啊，为了要确保你选择的是适合自己所需要的一种奶类，最佳的做法就是一定要先看一下营养标示。所以你到底是缺什么？你希望有什么样的营养素？举例来说，你是要蛋白质含量高，然后糖跟热量低。那么无糖豆浆可能就比较好。那么像大麻籽奶的话，蛋白质少，但是呢，它的钙质好像又稍微多一些。我们同样看一下第三段。第三句的地方，第三句特别注意最后面的 per serving。per 如果在英文当中，我们去翻字典啊，或者是查查这个网络的字典，就会翻翻成呢、啊，这个中文翻成每一如何如何，就是 every 的那个意思。可是 per 跟 every 有什么差别呢？ Per 跟 every 相同的地方是他们的用法，后面都加单数的名词。比如说，每一份叫做 per serving， 每个人 everyone。但是如果你用 every 加单数名词，它强调的是整体的概念，每一个人 everyone。那么 per 后面不管加上的是人，或者是每一份，或者是每一桌，或者是每一个房间，或者是每一个小时，它前面通常都会带着一个数字，因为它强调的是在那个单位里面有多少的值跟量。所以像在第三段第三句这个地方，我们看到的是大麻籽奶，它的每一份。Per serving 就可以提供差不多百分之五十每天你所需要的 calcium 的钙质，所以这个时候呢，我们就把 per 跟 every 的用法就可以搞清楚。那那如果你情愿要完全避免从这个商店购买，其实你可以自己做哎，自己做的话就是要有搅拌机啊，然后有过滤用的这个棉布啊，然后看你想要加什么样的这个坚果或者是调味料。不过我们在最后面呢，这个第四段的地方特别注意一下，在第一句 you 后面的一撇 d， 这里是 would w o u l d would 的缩写，在这里的 would rather do something 加上动词原形，指的是情愿或者是宁愿的意思。而第二句话当中有一个关系词所简化的限定用法关系子句。先行词是 whatever nuts or flavorings， 后面的 you 到句尾可以左右挂号，关系词的 that 是省略掉的。希望这两天对于植物奶的介绍是对你有帮助的哦。我是安娜，我们下次见。That's it for today, everybody. Thank you for joining us, and、uh, we hope you make the right decision in choosing what kind of milk to drink. If you want to drink milk at all, I suspect most of you are probably satisfied with good old local soy milk. From all of us here at English Digest, my name is Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. Bye.